Hi friends! Today we're going to read a story called Shy Charles, written by Rosemary Wells. Rosemary Wells is the author or the writer of the book. And our friend George is going to help us. Hi George! Charles was happy as he could be. But he liked to play alone. He wouldn't talk to Wanda Sue. And he never went near the phone. He didn't like the phone. It's a new day, said Charles' mother. Let's go to the store and say hello. We'll buy a sweet potato pie and we'll say goodbye before we go. Wonderful morning, said Mrs. Bileski. A chocolate surprise for my beautiful boy. Say thank you, whispered Charles' mother. Thank you, yelled Miss Pulaski. Enjoy. His mother told him to say goodbye. Charles hid inside the flower sack. Goodbye with a kiss, said Mrs. Pulaski. Someday when he's big, he'll kiss me back. You think Miss Pulaski's sad that he won't say goodbye to her? He's kind of shy like our friend George. Yeah, he's kind of shy, yeah. I'm so embarrassed, said Charles' mother. You never say goodbye or thank you. Like if you, that I'm so nice, another mother would thank you. Ooh, that's not good. This can't go on, said Charles' dad. I'm sick and tired of such of thank you fights. It's time he played football and joined or joined a ballet. Next Tuesday, Charles was in tights. Isn't he sweet, said Madame LeFleur. Charles wouldn't say maybe or no or yes. He's still being shy, isn't he? For a week, he pretended to be asleep. Charles was not a success. Poor Charles, he is so shy. So Charles' father took him to town and bought him some beautiful football things. The shirt was scarlet with shoulder pads. The helmet had silver wings. Charles, said father, you'll be the best. Like lightning, you'll strike across the grass. Like butter, you'll melt the defensive line. And you'll throw the winning pass. Uh-oh. Wonder what's going to happen. What do you think's going to happen? George, what do you think? Charles trembled like an autumn leaf. Hi, roared the coach. My name is Fred. He doesn't look so well to me. Take him home and put him to bed. Oh, poor Charles. Charles said his dad, You're a jelly roll. You're just a cowardly custard. You're like a sandwich without the bread, not to mention the ham and mustard. How will you ever go to school and find a job or get married? Charles sat down and cried so hard. He had to be carried. Then Charles' father murmured low, a babysitter is coming tonight. You know that one? It's Mrs. Block, and everything will be all right. I kind of feel bad for Charles. He is so shy. The sun went down. The center came. His parents left at six o'clock. Charles could daddle up the stairs. Come back, little push cake, cried Mrs. Black. Charles played happily in his room. He made a spaceship out of his chair. Suddenly, there was a terrible crash. Mrs. Black had fallen down the stairs. they're going to have to call the fire department or the ambulance. George got her into the sofa. He told her, now don't be nervous. He brought her a blanket and a cocoa. Then he called the emergency service. 
What's an emergency service? What do you think, George? Hmm. Hmm. The police? Hmm. Maybe. EMS? The fire department? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see who comes to help. He saved my life, moaned Mrs. Block. He's a prince, a gem, a hero. And everyone shouted, thank you, Charles. But Charles said, what do you think he said? Hmm. What do you think Charles said? Hmm. My friends, what do you think Charles said? Charles said, zero. The end. Friends, have you ever been shy like Charles and George? What are things you can do when you're shy? If you're not shy, what's something you can do if, there's, if you have a friend that's shy? Is there a way you can help a shy friend? Let us know. Bye.